Aloha, this is William Albritton, and today uh, we're going to talk, actually I'm going to show y'all uh, one of the, uh, how to do the Google Docs, okay, so the Google Documents, and I'll be driving today with a keyboard and my mouse, all right. Okay, so let's just jump right in here. All right, so we'll, we'll mosey down here, and I'll open up the Google Chrome browser, and uh, with this browser... It's pretty good, so you can use the mouse to do copy and paste. You don't have to use the keyboard shortcuts uh, that you have to use in other browsers. So I do recommend using the Google Chrome browser to do the Google Docs. Then up here at the top, uh, let me log in. Let's see, gmail.hawaii.edu. So this is a shorter URL than the one I introduced the other day in class. Um, and let's see here. Let me log into the UH account. Okay. So once you log in, let me zoom out a bit. You will go to the right hand side. Okay. And so you should see uh, the apps uh, icon, and you want to click on that and then click on the drive and not the docs. Okay. So the drive uh, is a little differently organized than the docs. Okay, so make sure that's, uh, that was clear, yeah. Okay, so we want to make a new folder. And to do that, let me kind of zoom in over here. Excuse me. So we'll go new and then folder. And we'll call this ICS 100 folder. And uh, we'll put all our files inside this ICS 100 folder. So what we'll do is we'll double click on that folder. And there's two ways to upload your files. So one way is to go over to the new. And we'll do a uh, file upload here. And OK, so we'll scroll down here. And I think I have a couple uh, assignments here. Uh, that I want to upload. So, okay, so it looks like a Word document. So I'll, I'll double click on that and upload it. So that's one way to upload our files. Now, another way is pretty cool. Let's see if I can um, uh, minimize this a little bit. And um, we'll go to the desktop here. Let's see, uh, kind of move that, move that over a bit. Okay, so then I can just drag and drop. So I can take a PowerPoint, drag that on, take uh, the Excel assignment that we did. Okay, I'm going to drag that on. So this is pretty cool. So now I have um, all my assignments all stored on the Google Drive, and then they're all in one folder. Okay, so it's really good to be organized. Um, so that's going to help a lot with finding your assignments, okay? And also, it just saves time. Like, you don't have to look around for, oh, where's my assignment? Uh, did the dog eat it again? OK, wait, the dog can't eat Google Drive, I don't think. So maybe not this time. OK, anyway, so we'll, we'll store things on Google Drive, put it in one folder, ICS 100. You can just drag it from your desktop into the browser. And then it's on the, the cloud somewhere. Ooh, the cloud. Cool. OK, so we, we, we've done that now. Um, now we want to make a new document uh, with, on the Google Drive. And um, it's kind of like a Word document, but it's, it's, it's Google Docs. It's, it's, it's a document that's on Google Drive. OK, so we're going to go back into Google Drive here. And uh, let me do our full screen here. So again, we'll, let, let me zoom in a bit. Let's see. Um, so we'll go New. And then this uh, blue icon here is Google Docs. So I'll click on that. And we can see now, let me um, tell you what, let me go to the top here. So what we want to do is when you first make it, it says Untitled Document. So you want to click there and give it a name. OK, so I'll, I'll scroll down a little bit. And instead of Untitled Document, that didn't really tell us what it is. Uh, I'll say, oh, this is um, ICS 
100. This is assignment. Let's see, number uh, 384. Okay, I like to give a lot of assignments in my class. Yep. All right, so we'll just click OK. Great, so now uh, let me zoom out. And so now we have our Google Doc, and you can see that we have our, our, our nice little name up here. And at the top, they're, they're, you'll see a row here, and we can do different formatting. And I'll, I'll go over some formatting we can do. And then up above here, we even have some other uh, choices that we can make as far as uh, sharing and that kind of thing. I'll tell you what, sharing is pretty important, so let me show you that uh, before uh, anything else. Okay. So again, we want to collaborate. If you tell your, your instructor, I want to collaborate, they'll be like, oh my gosh, he's the best student ever. So uh, tell your, your, your professor you want to collaborate. All right, but seriously, you want to share, if you want to share and, and work together on a document, here's how you do it. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, we'll go back to our, our screen here, and we'll, we'll up on the right-hand side here. Let me, let me zoom in on that. Um, whoops. There we go. Okay. So I'll go to File, and right there, we got Sharing. Okay. So then we can enter the, the, the email addresses of people we want to share with, and uh, we can decide if we want to edit or comment or view. So if you just want them to look at it, maybe uh, just do view. If you want comments, maybe your professor is going to grade it. Maybe just put on comments. If you want people to work together, do edit. Okay, so I'm going to get some of my friends here. Uh, I'm going to get Blanca, and she's going to help me uh, with my assignment. And then, ooh, I'm going to get Pete. He's pretty good with computer science, uh, I believe. And then it'll also show you suggestions. So it, I'm thinking, hey, let's, let's get Mike, too, man. He's pretty good with uh, computer history, man. I can write something about that. And then we'll go down, and uh, we'll do a, a send here. And that will uh, allow this document uh, to be shared uh, with uh, all my friends, man. So um, that's how we do a sharing. And we'll do a demonstration later on, on with, once we get uh, the crew together again. But let me show you some things we can do here. So uh, I'll just say what? We'll, um, let me do a zoom again and, and, and type some stuff here. So what assignment is this? Assignment. OK, we'll call this assignment. Assignment. Uh, OK, we got number 384. All right, cool, man. All right, so I want to do some formatting, all right? So I'll just highlight that, and we got all kind of choices we can make. Um, so with our text, we can say, hey, this is the title of my paper. All right, this, I'm going to call it, I'm gonna make that really big. I can go nuts on what kind of, you know, um, what you call what kind of font that I want. Maybe I'll do some kind of silly thing, Comic Sans. And I can go crazy with this, uh, 36. All right, now we're, now we're looking good. Uh, I'm going to bold it, man. I'm going to italic size that thing. I'm going to underline it. I'm just going to go nuts with this stuff. So we can also do the, the different colors here. Um, maybe I'll go something kind of cheery. I'll do red. And then let's see. I can go to the, the background here and... Let's get some, uh, get some yellow in there, and wow, that, that looks mighty good. Tell you what, it, it looks a little off balance, though. Let me, let me zoom out and look at that. Um, dang it. All right, so I want to I do some center in here, man. Let's see. Uh, all right, so that, that looks pretty, uh, pretty nice now. And uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll do a zoom in again. Okay, uh, personally, I think that looks kind of tacky and kind of gaudy. So if you're like, well, if you have a change of mind, uh, there, you got some more things here. And it's pretty good. Um, you know, I looked at that, and I'm like, what the heck does that icon mean? It actually gets rid of your formatting. So I guess it's text with an X. Uh, get rid of text formatting. So you can click on that, and that'll actually, you know, uh, get rid of your formatting. And then, let's see here. But, you know, if I have a change of heart, maybe I want to redo 
uh, I'm sorry, undo what I just did or redo it. So all, all kind of controls we got up here. Okay, now I want to show just a few other little things here that will help with your writing paper and stuff like that. Um, what else? We got the uh, bulleted, bulleted list. Okay, if you want to make a list of things, um, we can do that as well. So that's the start of, uh, say, a list of, of things that we'll create. We can also um, do things like we can get copies of this. Uh, we can do the history. Uh, you can actually translate into different languages, man. I mean, it's just nuts what you can do with Google. Uh, you can download uh, different formats. I want to do DocX, maybe I'm a professor. They want PDF. Dude, I got PDF right here at my fingertips. Um, golly, you can do all kind of stuff. You could publish. You can actually uh, make this into a web page and show it on the on World Wide Web uh, if, if you've got some good stuff to show everybody. Um, then uh, we can do editing uh, with our, you can even have a clipboard where you can store things. Uh, we got different views here. Uh, inserting things, you can insert your an image that you might have stored. You can even link things, uh, create a link to something. Uh, if you're doing some kind of mathematical thing, you can do equations. We can uh, include a drawing here. Uh, all kind of stuff. Number your, your, your document with different pages. Do page break, um, you know, different formatting, uh, underlying, overlying, superscripts, subscripts. Then uh, let's see, one little thing I want to show is, is the research tool. So I can actually uh, over here, you know, I can search for something. Uh, there's different searches, uh, images. I can do scholar. May I'm, I'm trying to write an article. Uh, say on, um, let's see, you may write an article on monkeys. Okay. And then, okay, this, this looks like a good article. I can actually insert that into my document, man. And up here, you, know, you can choose uh, different styles that you want for, the, 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 um, for your citation. Okay, let me, let me zoom out. Whoops, 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 did the wrong way. Okay. So all kind of things we can do with Google Docs. All right. So uh, make sure you can explore all those menus and you know, see what all kind of other stuff we can do. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day for today, and we'll see you all next time. All right. Aloha.